Hey guys! So today I wanted to do a video where I talk to you guys kind of about... It's like stuck on my fingernail. <laughs> where I talk to you guys about confidence and um, all of my confidence kind of came in when I got rid of my acne and just stuff like that. And um, I feel like this is like high, middle school and high school are like peak times for people's confidence to either be completely boosted or to be completely like put underground and I feel like confidence is definitely a huge issue in teen girls and boys everywhere um, you just always feel like you're never good enough the person next to you has something better than you but you learn to realize as you get older that even you have better things than the most unexpected person so even if that person has that Louis Vuitton bag that you want because they're just so rich and um, they get everything you want. You may have a stable home or a stable family or a loving mom and they may have just one parent and um, just problems in their family. So, you know, confidence is kind of, you have to work on um, your personal confidence. Your confidence will not be boosted by another person, you being better than another person. Um, that's the worst way, I think, to get confidence. So I thought I would just do this video to kind of talk to you guys and also share my acne story with you guys. Um, I feel like so many people struggle with acne, and I feel like me sharing my story and how I cleared my acne um, just might help you guys. So I will say that my acne, or I mean my confidence level went up because of my acne. So I kind of want to share with you guys my um, acne story. And I want to give you a little bit of some background information. So first of all, I had a really, really bad acne. Um, I'll post a picture here so you guys can see. But I had awful, awful acne. And it was just like, I would try so many things. Like I've tried creams and prescription creams and over-the-counter creams and over-the-counter drugs, um, wait, over-the-counter medicines, not drugs, guys, no, 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 over-the-counter medications and all of that stuff, and just nothing ever seemed to work. It would work for a little bit, and then my body and skin would get used to it, so then it would just come right back and find some other way to come back, and I had constantly done this for, like, I had acne starting in sixth grade, I mean, in fifth grade which is awful and it did not stop until I sorry until I did my last thing in um, I believe my junior year of high school and that was the one thing that changed um, sorry um, that was the one thing that changed kind of everything and my acne just went away it was wonderful and um, so I had literally tried everything and um, I had tried home, tried home remedies, medications, prescription medications, all that stuff. And for some reason, just none of that would work. Nothing I did would work. And so I kept getting more and more frustrated. And my mom was like, just don't worry about it. It's hormones. You know, they'll go away. They'll go away at their own time. But when you're in your kind of like peak age, like middle school, high school, where you're trying to make friends and you're trying to impress people and you're trying to kind of get yourself socially there. Um, it's hard when you have bad skin and um, I wasn't the skinniest girl around. Um, I'm still not. Like, I was healthy, but that doesn't make me, um, I was, I'm still extremely healthy, but that doesn't make me the skinniest person. And um, so people have their judgments and they're like, well, I don't want to talk to her. Like, she's not part of our friend circle. So it was hard for me in that sense. So eventually I went to a dermatologist who told me, you know, you can try one more thing before I put you on a really strong medication. So we tried that and that kind of worked. And then, like I said, my acne came running right back to my face. And um, it was it was bad. Um it was, my acne was just bad like you guys saw in the picture. Um, and then my dermatologist was like, let's try Accutane. And my mom knew about Accutane, but she was just against Accutane because she just, it was, it's such a severe medication. You know, you have to, you can't, ha you can't be sexually active, which I'm not saying I'm like, that was me. But like, just as a precaution, you know, you can't be sexually active because if you end up getting pregnant, your child can have serious birth defects and, um, the chances are incredibly higher um, if 
you're pregnant and you're taking Accutane and um, you have to get your blood drawn every month and you have to pee in a cup and they just have they have to take so many precautions and my mom you know was like she's not ready for that she doesn't need that like she's still too young for that and all that and eventually you know like we had to kind of convince her and I was like mom I can't do this anymore this is affecting who I am and so she was like okay let's go ahead and try it so we did it and Accutane completely dries up your skin. It dries up every little thing on your body. Like, you could go a week and a half to two weeks without washing your hair, and it would still look good as new. It would not get greasy, nothing. It just makes you so, so, so dry. And you have to be really careful when you go out in the sun because your skin is so dry. It can peel. And especially if you have lighter skin than I do, then you definitely, definitely have to be careful, and you have to put on sunscreen and not just any sunscreen, you need to put on good quality sunscreen and you know you just have to be very very careful because it's a severe medication and um, it's over like a six month time period so you take I don't remember the exact dosage but um, you just you take two pills a day one in the morning one at night I believe that's what I did and literally you guys it just completely like my acne just disappeared and it was amazing and um, you know, I my confidence level shot up because I had clear skin. I didn't have to worry about people looking at the bumps on my face. I didn't I didn't have to worry about people like thinking, you know, oh my god, like she's so ugly. I didn't have to worry about what people were thinking, what people were saying. It was just I just it made me feel incredible. And I'm not promoting Accutane here. I'm just saying that's what helped me. Um, if you're planning on um, like if you want to get rid of your acne, just try natural remedies. Try over the prescript, over the counter stuff. Um, try prescription stuff. Try creams and stuff. Talk to your dermatologist. If you don't have a dermatologist, um, I recommend you get a dermatologist. I recommend you get a dermatologist before you, you know, start buying stuff for your face because, you know, anything you put on your face can have a negative or positive effect. Um, and you just have to be really, really careful and. Don't, like, if you're trying natural remedies, that's fine. Like, they're natural. It can't harm you. It can only help you. But if you're doing, like, over-the-counter stuff, you need to talk to somebody, like, preferably a dermatologist, um, just to see what they're saying about it. I feel like that was the one thing that made me confident. I didn't care what people think, um, what people thought. I didn't care what people said because honestly I was just confident I had clear skin I was getting so many compliments people were like wow you look really really pretty today and stuff like that just little things like that to just make me feel better and know that um, I was I did something right and I looked okay and people weren't thinking that like you know she's ugly or anything like that and even if you don't have acne and you still have confidence issues then Trust me when I say that, you know, it gets better. Um, you just have to realize that you are beautiful in your own way. And even when I did have acne, there were days when, you know, I thought, wow, like, I look good today. Like, there are some days where, like, you know how when your mom tells you, you know, you are a pretty girl, you are very good looking, you're a good looking boy, you're handsome and all that stuff and you're like okay you're just saying that because you're my mom and you're supposed to but then when they say stuff like that and then you look at yourself in the mirror and you look you know different angles and whatnot you're like I'm not all that ugly you know and that's what happened to me and I would just look in the mirror and I'd be like you know I am who I am and no one can change that I can't change that even if I wanted to um, I am who I am. I look how I look. Um, that's not something I'm willing to change. I don't, I'm not going to go get plastic surgery and change something so somebody else likes it. Um, so I have to learn to accept who I am and, you know, that's what happened and I learned to accept who I was and I just ended up being so much more confident and so much more happier, and, you know. Confidence comes from what you think about yourself and you at first need to think about how you are as a person, you know, think about the good things you've done, think about the good things about you, the good qualities like, oh, I have nice hair or I have naturally rosy cheeks or I have good eyebrow shapes or 
um, I have a good body or um, I wear cute clothes, just anything like, oh, I'm wearing cute earrings. Like, it's amazing. And when people say a compliment um, to you saying, like, you look nice, take it to heart because those are what what's going to help you, like, stay up and stay confident, not the people that are like, oh, you look really bad today. An unfortunate fact of life is not everyone is going to like you. Not everyone is going to think you are um, pretty or cool or... But you just have to know that the people who are around you, the people who love you, and the people who care for you are over the moon about you. They think you're beautiful. They think you're great looking. You have a great personality. You have amazing clothes. Just take those compliments because those are what brings you up. Don't overthink the ones that tear you down because those aren't what make you who you are. Those are just what other people think about you and it's just just always think about what yourself when it comes to your confidence and what makes you happy and doing things that you love even if you don't think you're the most prettiest person on the in the world you still have an amazing quality that no one else has and it makes you just a stellar person and I really think that confidence is something that you can work towards and um, it's definitely a good feeling to have. Um, just write a list of things that I like about myself and things that I don't like about myself. And even if the things that you don't like about yourself are longer, just like take that list, rip it up, and put that thing, that list of things that you like about yourself up on the wall where you can see it. I mean, it doesn't have to be big, but just like a little tiny like sticky note or something about things that you like about yourself and things that you think are good qualities that you have about yourself. And look at that every day and just be like, wow, there's something good about me. So that helps your confidence and... Um, it's just an amazing, I did that and I would look at it and smile and then I'd look in the mirror and be like, wow, yeah, I do have nice whatever, you know. Um, so try that out and see if that works. If you guys need any more tips or any more advice, you guys can ask me in the comments below or through Twitter or if you want more privately, um, you can ask me through my email, through messages on YouTube or messages on Twitter. And I would love to just talk to you guys about things like that and help you out and be your support system because I'm here for you guys and I would love to help you. So yeah, um, that's about it. Again, if you have any questions, all my information will be in the down bar below for you guys to ask me. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go. Thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you guys very soon, hopefully. Bye.